Now the Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it's standard practice before releasing a company from a bond or holdback that government should receive a sworn statutory declaration to ensure that all suppliers and subcontractors are paid. It's standard due diligence on projects of this magnitude. So ask the minister, when you let Umber Valley Paving out of the contract and release their bonds, did you have a sworn statutory declaration? Now the Minister of Transportation Works. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. What we made sure we have in place is a mechanics lien of 10% of the project uh, that could cover, if there were people that were owed Order, money, please. They, ha they have the opportunity to take avail of that mechanics lien, and that is still in place. Now, well, Leader of the Official Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, it's a simple question, yes or no. It's a simple document. It's part of the due diligence. Do you have a sworn uh, statutory declaration that would th this would be money that would be used to pay the suppliers, subcontractors on this project, indeed protecting many of the small uh, businesses that you want to protect with Humber Valley yes, Paving. Sir. Do you have that sworn uh, statement of declaration on file with your government? The Honourable Minister of Transportation and Works. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, again, the, the Leader of the Opposition is trying his best to try and deface the integrity of the, the Department. We have a mechanics lien in place. It's 10 per cent of the contract, and we feel that that is more than sufficient for what we need in place. Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition, for a quick question. Mr. Speaker, what the sworn, what the sworn document does is it let us please ask the member to do it directly to his question. Yes so or no. yes or no, do you have the document on file, the if sworn you, affidavit? Now the Minister of Transportation works for a quick response. I have a mechanics lien in place, Mr. Speaker. 